okay so now our home screen is now completed and now if a user click on this floating action button then we will redirect the user to the add node screen and from there he can add a node so inside here inside this home pressed we will say navigator dot push then context and right here we will add a Cupertino page root make sure to import this at the top as well so right here in the builder it will be equals to a class which will be add node screen so now let's just copy this from here and now we will create a new dot file inside the screens folder and we will name this as add underscore node underscore screen right here we will first import the material dot dot library and then we will create a stateful widget by the name of add node screen get back right here and add this file which is add node screen dot dot and as you can see there is no problem so now right here we will return a scaffold and inside this scaffold we will first give it our background color and the background color will be color start blue accent like just restart our application and if we click on this now as you can see this is our head mode screen so after the background color we will add a body and inside the body we will create a just to detect a widget and then we will add a on tab and leave this as it is for now then we will create a child and inside this child we will create a single child scroll view and inside this single child scroll view we will create a child then a container widget and inside this container we will add padding so we will say agency insets dot symmetric the horizontal value will be 40.0 and the vertical will be 80.0 after this we will create another child and then we will add a column widget then the cross axis alignment will be cross axis alignment dot start then we will create a children widget and in here we will create a back button so for that we will create a gesture detector and inside this gesture detector the on tab will be equals to navigator dot push replacement on text and then the new root will be material material page root and the filter will be equals to home screen and make sure to import home screen dot dot as dot as well and after this on tab we will create a child then a icon and the icon will be icons dot arrow underscore back okay select the first one and then the icon size will be 30.0 and its color will be theme dot of context dot primary color and after this gesture detector we will add a size box of height 20.0 and after this we will add a text and inside this text we will add a text as title then we will give it a style so style then text style and in here the color will be colors dot deep purple then the font 
size will be 40.0 and the font weight will be font weight of bold so after this text field we will add a size box of height 10.0 then we will create a forum and inside this forum the key will be underscore forum key name this key capital and copy this forum key from here and if you go back right here at the top you will say final then paste the underscore forum key and this will be equals to global key and then right here we will say form state and now let will just move down so inside this forum we will create a child then a column widget and inside this column widget we will create a children and in here we will add padding and the padding will be edge inset dot symmetric and we will only add padding for vertical so vertical will be 20.0 after this we will create a child then a text form field and inside this text form field we will give it a style so style then text style and the font size will be 18.0 then we will add a decoration then input decoration the label text will be title then the label style will be text style and the font size will be 18.0 then we will add a border so the border will be outline input border then the border radius will be border radius dot circular and the value will be 10.0 and now we can just simply copy this padding and paste it right down below this label text will be changed to date and right here the read only will be set to true it is because when we click on this when we click on the date then the keyboard will not appear so this will hide the keyboard and after this the controller will be underscore date controller and copy it as well and if we move at the top right here we will say text editing controller then paste the underscore date controller right here and then we will say text editing controller after this we will create another two variables for the first one will be for the date format and make sure to import the intl dot at the top so the date format and then we will name it as underscore date for matter and this will be equals to date format then we will type month then day and after this we will add a year so we want the date in this format it will first show the month then the day and then the year and after this the next we want to create it will be a list string and its name will be underscore underscore priorities and it will be equals to the first one will be low this is called the priority and the second one will be medium then the last one will be high and after this variable right here we will create a function and its name will be handle date picker 
it will be a async and in here we will say final date time and also add a null checker and then we will say date and this date will be equals to a date and then show date picker the context will be context and the initial date will be changed to underscore date so this is our variable name so let's create this variable right here so type date time and then underscore date and this will be equals to date time dot now so it will show us the current time by default so now right here the first date will be equals to date time and the first date will be start from 2000 and the last date will be let's just say 2100 right here also add date time and after this we will add a if condition so we will say if the date is not equals to null and the date is not equals to underscore date then we will set a state and the underscore date will be equals to the date which the user selects and after this the underscore date controller we will change it to text so type dot text and then it will be equals to date formatter dot format and then date and now copy this function name and if we move down right after this style we will say on tab and in here we will call this function and after the date we want to show the priority so for that we will add padding so then padding as insert dot symmetric from the vertical it will be 20.0 then after this we will create a child then a drop down button form field and in here the items will be equals to underscore priorities dot map then in here we will create a string priority Okay, so we pass the priority string right here and at the top we need to create this variable so in here we will say string underscore priority will be equals to low by default it will be equals to low and let's just add all of the remaining variables as well so after this the last two will be button text and it will be by default equals to add note and then the title text will be equals to add note as well so these are the variables which we will be needing inside our project so now in here we will return a drop down menu item and in here we will add a text and inside this text we will quote that priority variable so click on this priority and after this we will create a child and then a text and inside this text oh let this remove this from here after the priority we will give it a style then text style and inside this text style the color will be 
colors dot black and then the font size will be 18.0 then right here we will say dot to list and write down below we will give it a style so style then text style and in here the font size will be 18.0 then after this the decoration will be input decoration and inside this input decoration the label text will be priority then the label style will be text style and the font size will be 18 then we will give it a border so border and outline input border then the border radius will be border radius dot circular its value will be 10 and then outside this input decoration its value will be underscore priority and if you move up out here the value will be equals to priority and now right here we will add a on changed and we will pass the value then in here we will set a state and then the underscore priority will be equals to value dot to string so if the user select the priority high medium so then we will change that accordingly and then we are changing it to string as well so now if we restart our application as you can see this is our home screen and now if we click on this this is our add node screen then let's move up right here we will say add node please start ok so it is changed right here uh, remove this from here and right here we will say add node now as you can see this is our head node screen so here we can add a text for the title and right here if you click on it as you can see it didn't show the keyboard because as I told you this this is because of this read only and right here we can select any date and if we click OK as you can see it has changed to 20 overs and then here is our priority so if you select the medium or the high as you can see it changed the value accordingly so this is it for this video